You will not believe the changes John Rahm made to his driver and his driver setup on route to winning the 2023 Masters. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson. Welcome back to Get Good at Golf on this channel. We try to help you get good at golf Monday right through to Friday. So what did John Rahm change? What can you change and how can you hit longer, straighter drives that everybody wants to do? So the first thing guys, I did a video on my main channel on this. He put more loft on his driver. So that allowed to get a little bit more spin with the driver. That allowed him to use the left side of the golf course and peel away from that so it played a bit more of a fade that's something you can do if your driver is adjustable make sure you do it with a pro though don't just go and play with it yourself and think if i have more loft i'm going to be like john rahm generally that's not how it works but also he had a little bit of a change in his setup and it's a fantastic way for you guys to hit longer drives for you guys to hit straighter drives as well so rather than setting up with the driver right behind the ball like we all do here John Rahm actually sets up with the driver a little bit further back here. What that allows him to do is it actually gives you more time to square the face up and it also allows you to get that club moving on the way up through the ball. We all know to hit long drives, we all know to hit straight drives, we need to do a couple of things. We need to square that club face up at impact, we also need the club to be travelling on the way up through the ball. We don't want to hit down into the ball, then we're going to cut across it a little bit, we're going to hit the big high horrible slice. And that's the last thing that you want to do. So just by changing this, just by having that ball a little bit further forward in the stance and the driver, as you can see here behind it, the sternum stays back a little bit. So if I have the club just a little bit too close to the ball there, or like you would normally have it, the sternum can start to move forwards and that means your angle of attack can start to work down onto that golf ball just by setting it back a little bit guys you get in the comments below if you've tried this or if you're gonna try this because it could really help you can get that sternum behind you can load up to the top of the golf swing from there as you come through this would be where your golf club would be normally but it gives it a little bit more time just to square up and you can see that's definitely going to help you maybe lower that spin rate a little bit maybe hit longer high bombs and also square that club face up to hit drives hopefully a little bit like this one Chris is also going to give you a drill, guys, that can help you hit straighter drives by squaring that club face up. I'm going to set it behind it, move it back a little bit more, and hit. I tell you what, every time we do drills like this, I always start to hit better drives. That one came bang out of the middle. That's one of the best drives I've hit in a very, very long time. Should I do what John Rahm does? And if I do, could this soon be green? Probably not, but let's get to the drill master. So guys, we're talking drills now to do this. So yes, we can just set up straight away with that club ABI. Yes, we can feel like we're angled away. But we want to make sure from this position that we're not fanning that club open because people still get into this position, do the setup things right, get everything where it needs to be, club starts to fan open and we're not going to be able to generate the strike that we want to. So a good thing to do is to obviously do things in slow motion just to get a feel for that. So feel that we're slow in the takeaway. We can see that, that club face is still close a little bit once we come up to the top there then from there we can see that club face is again nice and neutral the top it is not fanned open so we're not here we're not open where we would be if we'd have found it on our takeaway and we've not also gone for the the john ram just because john ram does this don't try everything that he does it's all dependent then on timing so if you come down with a club face like that you might return it very close if we move the ball position forwards or the club head back even from that and then come down with that kind of club face we're only going to hit it one way we might get rid of your slice but we might have one that quickly goes left and that's not going to be in play another way you can do this to get a feel is to do this just with your left hand so get your left hand on as your normal grip and see if you can do that nicely in slow motion just with your left hand and once you do this bring your right hand on there and you'll see that that is set in a neutral position again i'm able to do it with a left hand if i'm a right-handed golfer and then practice down into impact you'll see here if i don't have any kind of forward shuffling once i bring that down slowly if i was to release my hands that again is going to be closed i'm going to be hitting up but you might also send that left or catch the ball on the top so we have to make sure once we've done this slow motion from here bring it down and start to feel that okay yes i'm coming into that kind of position i've got some forward shuffling i'm hitting up on the golf ball but i'm going but i'm then still going to hit straight drives and long drives so let's get into that position just like john ram normal setup bring it a little bit back and then swing through just like james that's come out exactly the same little fade 
the best strike I've hit all day. So we have to think. <coughs> So we have to think about doing things in slow motion, start to get the feel for that movement. We can make sure the setup's correct, but let's get doing those motions to help us get the club taken away properly into that good position at the top and then into impact. The big thing we need to think about is even with the driver, we are trying to take a little bit of loft off and a bit of forward shuffling. And if you do that, guys, that's going to help you get good at golf. We'll see you again tomorrow.